Hi students, my name is Angela. Welcome to another session of biology. Today we shall be learning about agriculture and animal husbandry. From the time man evolved on earth, he has been striving to improve the quality of food that he grows. This quest led him to discover and invent a number of methods and implements respectively. His findings or discoveries were with pitfalls. However, from every failure he came out with success purely by continuing his quest relentlessly. The knowledge of the principles of inheritance was a major turning point. With this knowledge, he has been able to circumvent the forces of nature in improving the crops. Man has succeeded in achieving disease resistant, shorter duration and higher yield of crops. For example, he developed dwarf varieties of plants. These dwarf plants are now preferred in regions where there are heavy winds. He succeeded in transferring disease resistant traits from one variety to the other. He has also improved the color of flower, color of fruits, shapes of fruits and pulp. Our farmers were quite intelligent in selecting the best seeds for their crops. They used traditional and conventional methods in breeding new varieties. But they were successful only to a certain extent. When we look at the plant kingdom, we find that in reproduction there are two types. One is a self-pollinating and the second is cross-pollinating. The new techniques were based on these two types. In self-pollinating plant, there is no possibility of new characters. However, in cross-pollinating plants, there is possibility of bringing in new characters as the male gamete of one plant combines with the female gamete of another plant to form the zygote. The methods of crop improvement can be divided as introduction, selection, hybridization, mutation, polyploidy. Now let us examine the methods in detail. Ancient man was migrating from place to place and did not stay in one place. He carried his plants or seeds with him. The process of introducing new plants in a new area is called introduction. These plants need to adopt to the new environment, which might take some time. This is known as acclimatization. The acquisition of superior varieties by improving them from other areas is similar to developing superior varieties in breeding programs. Man has been selecting best seeds from a year's crop to be sown in the next year or season. The best and healthy seeds are selected and sown and allowed to grow. This process is repeated for generations. This type of selection is called natural selection. Man has developed new methods of selection. As they are discovered by man, the method is called artificial selection. Artificial selection is done in three ways. Mass selection, pure line selection and clonal selection. Now let us briefly examine these types. In this type of selection, a number of plants are selected to make a new variety. Seeds of plants which show favorable characters like better quality, disease resistance, higher yield etc. are selected and sown in the next season. In this type of selection from a field of crop a single plant with most desirable characters is selected and seeds preserved. These seeds are sown and this plant variety is propagated for some generation by self-pollination. Self-pollination preserves the characters. Mm. 
cloning is the method of vegetative propagation. By cloning one can produce exact genetic copy of the source. Small tissues from a plant is taken and this tissue is placed in a test tube with nutrients. The tissue grows roots and stem in the test tube. This is transplanted into the field and allowed to grow. This method of selection is possible only in vegetatively propagating crops like sugarcane, grapes, mango, etc. In this method, the plants with desirable characters are selected. The pollen from the male plant with desirable traits is placed on the stigma of female plant. The resulting plant is a hybrid. Hybrids always show superior qualities than their parents. Hybridization in plants has speeded up the production of new varieties on a larger scale. Hybridization is the best choice of crop improvement. It can be adopted in both self and cross pollinating plants. A sudden heritable genetic change in an organism is known as mutation. Mutation can be spontaneous or can be induced by radioactive rays, chemicals, etc. However, this is not very successful in crop improvement. Every species has a distinct number of chromosomes. In a somatic cell, they are diploid or 2n in number. In gametes, they are haploid or n in number. When the plant has 3n or 4n number of chromosomes, it is triploid or tetraploid respectively. The condition in which there is more than diploid number or normal number of chromosomes is called polyploidy. Polyploidy occurs naturally or it can be induced by a chemical called colchicine. Polyploidy increases the size of plants, flower and fruit. Bigger sized watermelons, pomegranates are obtained by polyploidy. Dear students, the development and discoveries in biotechnology has further enhanced the development of improved crop varieties. The techniques of tissue culture, genetic engineering, cloning has greatly improved the quality and quantity of a number of crop varieties.